Welcome to Watch Me Go Broke. We've all been there. Your private plane crashes in the Canadian wilderness. So what do you do? You begin systematically eating the passengers that didn't survive. But before you do that, you're gonna need to know where you are, when you are, and perhaps convert kilograms into pounds. And there's a watch that can do that. Of course, I'm talking about the Seiko Flightmaster. Did Seiko make one of the greatest tool watches of the past decade? Well, let's awkwardly bend over a table and take a look. All right, so on my wrist today, I am wearing a BLWRX 1000 meter professional diver. So let's jump right into the Flightmaster. So we've got a 42 millimeter case, a case thickness of 13 millimeters, a lug to lug of 44 millimeters, a lug width of 21 millimeters. It's got 200 meters of water resistance, 660 feet. So if your plane crashes in a lake, you'll be able to easily swim down for supplies back and forth without having to worry about ruining your watch. It's got a hard lex crystal, quartz movement, the Seiko 7T62 quartz. It's got a 60 minute chronograph, date wheel at the three o'clock, a dual time zone with a 12 hour alarm, and a bi-directional bezel. Bi-directional meaning it goes both ways. Really nice action on that. Now, I have mine on an Omega 20 millimeter Bond NATO. I thought it just really worked well with this watch. It looks fantastic. The supplied bracelet that it comes on is not great. Um, I'm not sure what they were trying to do, but these links with the polish and they're, they're split in the middle. So it's not really three link. It looks like it's four link bracelet. I'm assuming that's supposed to help with articulation and comfort or, or something along those lines. But this bracelet, I think, you know, everybody that owns this watch really doesn't like it. And this little end link on the clasp there, uh, not sure what they were going for. Just your standard uh, Seiko pressed clasp. Not great. So the kind of cruddy thing that Seiko did was the 21 millimeter lug width. You're gonna be hard pressed to find anything that's 21 millimeters. Omega does make a 21 millimeter NATO strap, but you're not gonna be able to use it on anything but like 22 millimeter lugs. You know, you're not gonna fit it into a 20. So I went with a 20. Uh, it, I think it fits okay. You can see the spring bar a little bit. One thing I've, I've heard online is uh, folks having difficulty fitting NATOs to this watch because the spring bars are so close to uh, the case. And so it's kind of hard to fit a strap through there without really tearing up the strap. Now what I did is I went on eBay and I purchased curved 21 millimeter spring bars and that gives you a little extra room to slide your NATOs in and out. Getting to the dial, the dial is really just gorgeous. Uh, it's very busy, so if you are a mathematician, you probably know what's going on right there. But this is the uh, bezel is based on a slide rule, so you're supposed to be able to like turn this to a certain area and then look at another area, and that gives you the calculation. There are really great tutorials online using this watch. Uh, and explaining everything to do with the slide bezel rule. I definitely uh, recommend that, that you check those out. So you've got three registers. There's a 60 minute chronograph at the top. You've got the seconds hand at the nine o'clock position and the quote unquote dual time zone slash alarm. I use mine just as a standard alarm. I don't need to know a second time zone. I'm in central standard time so i know new york is an hour ahead and la is two hours behind and that's just about all i need to know so you've got uh, screw down pushers at the two o'clock and four o'clock position and those operate the chronograph so starting the chronograph you just push the top button and you'll notice even though it's a quartz movement you get a little bit of a feel of mechanical with that And that is one of the really cool charms about this watch 
is yes, it's quartz, but you can get your fix of mechanical. And one interesting thing you can do with this is you can do split time by pushing the bottom button. So let's say you're clocking some cows racing down the pasture and okay, cow number one comes to the first pull and okay, his time is 30 or 41 seconds or where am I? 40, 43 seconds. All right, so cow number one, 43 seconds. Cow number two, he's a little slower. He's, he's a good bit slower, so we're waiting for him to hit that mark. And here he comes in. Oh, oh, there he is. Okay, well, he's a minute and one seconds. So that's the cool thing about split time. You can, you can do that. It catches right up to where uh, you need it to be. Uh, and just an amazing feature of this watch. So to stop the chronograph, you just push this top button. And to reset, you push the bottom button. And operating the alarm is extremely easy. You just unscrew the crown. You're going to pull it out to the second position, which would be the date setting position. And then you look down and see what, where you would like to set the alarm. So I'm just going to set it for about one minute ahead so we can hear the alarm. So boop, you see it move right there. And to set it, you just push that in, screw it down, and you are good to go with the alarm. And there you go. All right. So not very loud, not very functional. I think if you're in an office and you don't have a lot going on, you're going to be able to hear that alarm no problem. If you're flying an airplane, which is what this is for, there's no way in the world you're going to hear that alarm at all. One cool thing about the Hardlex Crystal is you get a little bit of a distortion when you turn the watch certain ways and it just looks so beautiful. I love the chronograph hand in yellow and the 60 minute register hand in yellow. It just gives a great little pop of color on this watch. And you'll notice the chapter ring is sloping downwards towards the dial, giving this watch a lot of depth with the dome hardlex crystal. You have applied indices and a generous dollop of Seiko loom on each of those. There's so many calculations that you can do with this slide rule bezel. Uh, and just the action on it is great. It's not too loose. It's not too stiff. Uh, it's just perfect. So what do I like about this watch? I love the look of it. I love the dial. Even though it's busy, it's just so interesting. You could probably look at it all day and see something different each day you look at it. Uh, I love the chronograph function. I love the split time. I love the yellow hands. Uh, on the chronograph and the 60 minute register. It's just gorgeous. Even though this crystal is hard lex, it's just beautiful. I mean, I haven't scratched it yet, so I don't know what it's gonna look like when you really tear it up, uh, but it's really just a wonderful looking crystal. It also has a three year battery life, but I've heard if you don't use the chronograph function that much or the alarm that much, this could go as long as five years and beyond. So you're getting a really good solid watch for the price. So what do I not like about this watch? Well, obviously the 21 millimeter lug width is something that you're gonna have to get used to and the proximity of the spring bars to the case. Once you figure out that obstacle, that's really the only bad thing about this watch other than the alarm function isn't that loud. And so there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It wears really well because it's a compact lug to lug. It's Christmas time in the city. So let's go for a walk outside. Grab your girl and we'll have a good time The bells are ringing cause it's Christmas time We took the sleigh ride headed downtown It was chilly but I didn't frown I pumped the brakes and hit up the bar Would have hoofed it but it's too far The snow 
Well, there you go, the Seiko Flightmaster. I can't recommend this watch enough, and it should be a part of everyone's collection. I mainly use mine to tell ladies how much they weigh in kilograms, which they don't care for, but it keeps me busy. So until next time, I'm headed west in search of gold.